what music is to me, that's a sermon. It really is. God created everything. Everything, the word created everything. So that means he created music. Music was created to cover God's glory. And if it isn't doing that, you're in trouble. <laughs> Skinner lived on the west side. Those guys went to a different school. I was on the south side. They had their band in high school. I had my band in high school. We played all the same team dances, and it's a long time ago. Uh, there was one club downtown called the Comic Book Club, and it was a teen club from eight to midnight and a bottle club from one to six in the morning. And one week we'd be doing it, and the next week Skinner would be doing it. I was living in Atlanta at that time, and. Uh, I got a call from the Skinner camp. Ed King had left the band, and Ronnie wanted me to. He said Ronnie wanted me to call you and see if you wanted to join the band. I said, "Well, yeah, what? When?" He said, "Tonight." <laughs> I said, "I can't do it. I was going to Europe. Um, if I had been able, sure, uh, I would have done that." Skinner did one of their Nothing Fancy album in Atlanta. And they needed a dobro player and a mandolin player. At that time, I really wasn't considering what God thought. Uh, when I when I started doing session work in Atlanta around '72, uh, I used to walk in the studio with this 55-pound Thompson Chain Reference Bible, a guitar in the other hand, and the Bible began to get left at home. And I, I just—it's like when a ship leaves England headed for New York City. If it's one degree off course, you don't really notice it until you get to the coast and then you're down in Miami. I had a childhood dream when I first started playing. That's what I wanted to be. So I, I, I didn't say this, but my actions did. I didn't say, God, kind of dragging your feet here and this is happening, I'll be back, okay? The, the three temptations that Jesus resisted after he came, his ministry began, and he was tempted on the Mount of Temptation. I fell for all three of them. It was like one of those little wind-up trains, you know, the front wheel turns around, whatever it hits, it goes in another direction. <laughs> I was a bad boy. Hindsight is 2020. It's always when you when you stop long enough and you take the time to get right with God. And you said, and I got to that point where I I just fell off the radar. I just, I said, I'm going to get this. I'm going to put the guitar down. I'm going to pick the Bible up. And I'm going to get this straight. And it took years to do that. And, and all the years that, that went by, I did look back. And I, and I thought, I saw where he had saved me from this and saved me from that. Where I, I, I measure what I've done with what I could have done, what I should have done. When I made an adult decision to make Jesus Lord of my life, that was in 1971. I was in that covenant with God, and he's faithful to his covenant. He cannot lie. I was not so faithful with it, and I departed, but he was still faithful, and that's why I didn't get on that plane. I played uh, Dobro on the last album that Skinner did, uh, Street Survivors, and I played on a song called Honky Tonk Nighttime Man. Ronnie called me uh, just to tell me, he said, I got your name on the album. I said, well, you know, I expected it, the credits. And he said, no, man, I, I, said, I got your name on the album. And what he was talking about was Honky Tonk Night, that man who, for the first time, said, Barry, play me some Dobro. Um, and I, I've... Mm. Wasn't ready for that. But it, it, it makes me, uh, I don't know why people always drop their head when they're going to cry. <laughs>
uh, I just hope that those guys were saved. When it gets to this point, I always lose it because I think I think of all the thousands of people that I stood in front of and I knew him. And they never heard me say anything. So this time around, that will change. I'm already doing it here every Sunday morning. <laughs> it's for me to carry on, not only a family legacy musically, but the gospel. Sometimes I feel like Samson tied between the columns. <laughs> Give it to me one more time. I'll tear this place apart. <laughs>